Hey, good morning. Uh, a little bit different angle today. Uh, going to go ahead and do some leg presses here. But just finished the gazelle. As you'll notice, I'm in my street clothes. Folks, this is what it looked like. I'm no uh, Adonis by any means. I'm certainly not built like uh, Schwarzenegger or Jason Statham or any of these guys that are in the movies. Why? Because I don't have to be. <laughs> just, just me, folks. Uh, this is what I look like. This is a good way to look. Okay? Here, get this off of here so it doesn't break up the line. There, I've got a little bit of this here. Okay? It's all solid. It's not fat. But I like to eat. I mean, I like to eat. So I keep myself in shape. Why? So I can eat. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I'm not going to try to hide things, tell people that you can get to be an Adonis. If you want to be the Adonis, beautiful. Do what I do, just don't eat. Don't eat as much, okay? Number of calories, depending on your body size and your body activity, is listed on the internet. There are tons and tons of sites to give you this information. No need for me to repeat it, okay? Go to the internet, look for your calories versus age. Or calories worth of size, excuse me, or calorie versus height, calorie, you know, activity level, all that information is there. The best site I've found combines all of them. It's a government site, and it does in fact have not only your age, your height, and your activity level all factored in. So that you can go by and say, okay, I'm this active, ergo, I need this many calories a day. I'm this tall, etc., etc. This is the best way to go because that gives you a more accurate way of just saying, well, let's see, uh, you're five foot ten, you're male, so you should weigh 185 pounds. Doctors do that all the time. Uh, it's the wrong way to do it because it doesn't take into the factors of you being you. But what it does do, if you get the right chart to tell you how much activity, will tell you how many calories per day. Now, does that mean that I want you to go ahead and here, I'll lay down here so you can see my face. Uh, does that mean that I want you to run out and become calorie counters? Yeah, for a couple of weeks. It's not a big deal, folks. It's not hard to do, especially these days when it's packaged already on everything you buy practically except fresh fruit and even then that's easy to find fresh vegetables fresh fruit they'll give you the calorie information right on the internet but huh, early in the morning folks hey in the or you know when you buy your food when you make a meal it tells you right there this is a serving this is how many calories are in a serving this is how many calories come from fat this is how many come from protein if you're trying to lose weight and be more effective in your calorie selection, then it's very simple. You reduce the amount of fat, you increase the amount of proteins, you make sure you have enough fiber in your diet. You make sure you get your proper vitamins through your vegetables. If you don't like vegetables, take supplements, but I'm telling you now, you're better off with the vegetables. Let me do a set of the leg presses. Let me come back and finish this up for you. Okay. Leg presses are easy. Get back here on the total gym. And one. And two. And three. And four. <coughs> five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. finish this up for you. Hang on. Look. It's very, very simple, folks. Okay? You decide what you want to look like. You decide what's healthy. I'm 62. I'm almost 63. I'm not going to try to look like a 20-year-old. It's just I'm not, I don't need to. Okay? There's no point in doing that. 
The point is, is I still want to fit into a 32 waist jeans. I do. I want to wear medium clothes. I do. I don't want to have to go out and shop in the extra large. Why? Because it's uncomfortable. And because it makes me feel uncomfortable. You're talking about comfort. Let's get real for a second here. When you're overweight, how do you feel? You feel horrible. You feel stuffed. You feel uncombined. You feel inactive. You don't want to do things. You feel bad. What's the point in that? Okay. Lose the weight. You feel good because you're able to move around. You don't have the restrictions. You don't have to shop in the heavy section. You don't have to get things that don't look attractive just because they fit you. Okay, and that's really what happens here. What you really want is to be healthy. Yes, being the right weight means you get to wear the right clothes, but hey, even if you're not wearing the right clothes, if you feel healthy, it's worth it. I'm right now sitting at 195 pounds. Now that's 10 pounds more than a year ago. Over the year, I've gained more muscle mass. But I haven't lost or gained any stomach at all. It's the same amount of stomach I have. I'm going to have that because I don't worry about losing it. If I want to, like I said, all I have to do to do that is to go to a 2400 calorie a day diet at my activity level. Okay, which means two things. I'll get skinny and through two, I will definitely be hungry all the time because my body's going to burn it off. Metabolism goes up when you exercise. Some people can get by with 2100 calories a day and feel good. And if I wanted to look that way, I could probably do that. But that's not what I want. What I want is to feel good about myself, be able to eat what I want, be able to wear the clothes I want, and be able to play with my great-grandkids. Guess what, folks? I'm able yes, to do I'm all doing that. Yes, I'm in jeans today, but uh, hey, I had a little uh, early morning expedition. I had to take some people to the airport. <laughs> well... Now I'm going to get back to it and finish up. So I'm off to going out, and I want to tell you right now, be blessed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.